Good evening. I'm going to call the order of the Planning and Zoning Commission meeting for Tuesday, May 3rd, 2022. Planning and Zoning, we have a quorum present. <coughs> and the first item on the agenda is consideration of the minutes of the April 19th, 2022 meeting. If there are no additions or corrections, may I have a motion, please? Move to approve. Motion by Karen. Second. Second by Aram. All in favor, please say aye. 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 Opposed, same sign. Motion passes. <laughs> Next item is a regular hearing. This is a regular hearing for the final plat of Bethel Baptist Church Edition containing one non-residential lot on 6.25 acres out of the V.R. Sutton Survey, abstract number 1152, zoned local commercial district located on the west side of South Edmonds Lane, approximately 700 feet south of Bel Air Boulevard, being a replat of lots 4A1 and 4B1, Block A, Gary R. Levitt's Municipal Hospital Edition. Good evening, uh, Chair and Commissioners. So staff is recommending disapproval of the plat for the Bethel Baptist Church Edition uh, for deficiencies to Section 7-73, which is a checklist for final plats, just clarifying and updating that, and Section 6-95 regarding easements. Um, we recommend that the commission disapprove due to those deficiencies and delegate to staff the authority to accept and approve the plat once the listed deficiencies are corrected. And we will bring the plat back to the chair for signature. Thank you, Michelle. Are there any questions or concerns for Michelle on this item? If not, may I have a motion, please? I move to disapprove this. I delegate it to staff for correction and then return for signature. Motion by Karen. Second. Second by Sheila. All in favor, please say aye. 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 Opposed, same sign. Motion passes. The set, or third item here is a public hearing, co consideration of a special use permit for a minor automobile service facility with six associated alternative standards and two associated variances on approximately 0.27 acres, legally described as Lot 20, Block D, Rolling Ridge Edition, located at 685 South Stemmons Freeway, zoned general business district as requested by Rahuf Rahuf of Riz Auto Service LLC on behalf of Realty Income Corporation, the property owner. Good evening, commissioners. So this is a small business owner that's looking to relocate his business that's currently in Pennsylvania to Louisville. He has found this site which used to hold the Midas uh, light automotive bill repair. Uh, because it is an existing site um, that he is proposing enhancement to, staff is in support of the specific use permit request. There are six alternative standards and two variances. The six alternative standards will be considered um, by this body in their role as the overlay district board um, shortly after this SUP request. And the two variance requests will go to city council. Uh, so Riz Automotive does provide minor automotive services such as oil change, tire replacement, and light mechanical repairs. In terms of the enhancements that they propose to make to the site, they will be improving the driveway stacking depth, uh, clarifying some of the vehicular circulation on the site, adding pedestrian circulation to the property, adding five new canopy trees in tree islands. They will be restriping the parking lot. They will replace the existing chain link fence with a board on board wood fence, and they will replace the painted metal on the building with a, a stucco uh, surface to enhance the building aesthetic. The building is primarily a concrete masonry unit block today. Uh, the existing pole sign will also be removed as part of this special use permit. He does not have any intention right now of putting in a low profile <coughs> monument sign, but he may in the future. His intent right now is just to use the building signage. Um, there are six alternative standards, which I will get into in more detail with the overlay district board, but they're to waive the 12 foot secondary walkway, allow um, the masonry veneer in lieu of the 80% brick or stone to waive the 50% awning requirement, though he is adding an awning along the building entrance, um, and to allow four canopy trees to be planted along the street in lieu of the required five, 
to waive the 20 foot landscape buffer and to allow one parking lot tree in lieu of the required three. And this is just based on the existing site constraints, um, trying to meet the parking demands as well. Um, the variances would be to reduce the required stacking depth of 40 feet to 28 feet, although this is a significant increase than what the current depth is, which is closer to 10 to 12 feet. And then to allow a six foot board on board screening wall between commercial and residential uses in lieu of the required masonry screening wall. And he has provided letters of support from the adjacent property owners for that variance. Um, so in summary, uh, based on the improvements, even though they are not quite meeting all of the code standards in I-35, we feel this is a reasonable reuse of a building that was designed for automotive services, and he is making significant site enhancements. Uh, so staff is recommending approval of the special use permit as presented. Thank you. Do you have any questions for Michelle? Madam Chair, I do. Okay. Uh, with respect, I know you mentioned that the adjacent property owners uh, are in agreement. Were there any letters received for any property owners that were not in agreement with some of the variances? We received no um, response from the letter sent out. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Anybody else? Okay. At this time, I'll go ahead and open up the public hearing. Anyone wishing to speak on this item, please come forward, state your name, and sign in. Having no one come forward, I will now close the public hearing. Is there any discussion, commissioners? <coughs> no? If not, may I have a motion, please? I make a motion to approve. Motion by Francis. Second. Second by Jordan. All in favor, please say aye. 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 All opposed, same sign. Motion passes. Thank you, commissioners. This item is scheduled for city council on May the 16th for a second and final public hearing. Thank you. And the final item for the Planning and Zoning Commission is adjournment. May I have a motion to adjourn, please? Move to adjourn. Motion by Aram. Second. Second by Alvin. All in favor say aye. 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 All opposed, same sign. Motion passes. We are adjourned. This time I'd like to call to order the Overlay District Board. We do have a quorum present, and our first item is consideration of the minutes of the December 7th, 2021 meeting. If there are no additions or corrections, may I have a motion, please? Madam Move Chair. Oh. <laughs> we'll Madam, say Sheila. Madam okay. Chair, I move for acceptance of the minutes. Okay, motion by Sheila, second by Karen. All in favor say aye. 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 All opposed, same sign. Motion passes. Next item is a regular hearing. It's a consideration of six alternative standards associated with a special use permit for a minor automobile service facility on approximately 0.27 acres, legally described as lot 20, block D, Rolling Ridge Edition located at 685 South Stemmons Freeway, Zone General Business District, as requested by Rauf, Rauf Riz Auto Service, LLC, on behalf of Realty Income Corporation, the property owner. Good evening. Um, so this, uh, these requests are related to the SUP request that went before the Planning and Zoning Commission this evening. There are six of them. The first is to waive the 12-foot wide secondary walkway. If they were to put the secondary walkway in front of the building um, with trees planted every 40 feet on center, it would severely impact the automobile circulation on the site and prevent access to most parts of the site where parking is located. Um, so this alternative standard does require city council approval. Alternative standard B is to allow the masonry veneer in lieu of the required 80% brick or stone veneer. The existing building is split face concrete masonry unit, which is difficult to add a veneer onto. Uh, however, they are improving the building by adding stucco where there is existing metal panel. This alternative standard also requires city approval. The building will be painted a neutral color um, to help uh, improve the general aesthetic. The third alternative standard, C, is to waive the 50% awning requirement along the front facade. Uh, this would block his signage area and be over the bays where the cars pull in, which isn't necessarily a problem, but it would um, 
impact the building, the ability to put on building signage. And as stated earlier, he does not anticipate any detached signage and is removing the pole sign. He will, however, propo propose an awning over the building entrance in the office area at the corner. Alternative standard D is to allow four canopy trees uh, planted along the street frontage instead of the required five. This is a 20% reduction that the overlay board may approve. The alternative standard C is to waive the 20-foot landscape buffer along I-35. The existing site doesn't have a landscape buffer. In addition of the landscape buffer would again impact the ability to access the site by a vehicle and the ability of the applicant to provide the necessary parking on site. An alternative standard F is to allow one parking lot tree in lieu of the required three, which is one per eight spaces. There are currently no trees on site. They are adding four along the street frontage and one in the back of the parking lot area. This is where it's most feasible for them to cut in landscape islands and also to maintain meeting the parking ratios that are required and needed for an automotive use. Um, so staff is in support of these alternative standards and believes that they're reasonable, give, reasonable given the nature of the site and the, the reuse of the existing site. Um, so our recommendation is that the overlay board approve alternative standard D, which is for the four canopy trees along the street frontage, and recommend approval of the remaining alternative standards to city council. And staff is here for any questions. Commissioners, do we have any questions or comments? No? Okay, if not, uh, may I have a motion, please? Um, I move to approve alternative standard D as presented and um, recommend approval for the remaining to City Council. Motion by Aram. Second. Second by Sheila. All in favor, I say aye. 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 All opposed, same sign. Motion passes. Thank you, commissioners. Those alternative standards recommended to city council will also go on the May 16th meeting. <clears throat> and the final item for the overlay board is adjournment. May I have a motion for, to adjourn, please? Move to adjourn. Motion by Karen. Second. Second by Francis. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed, same sign. We are adjourned. And finally, we have Transportation Board. <laughs> I'd like to call to order the Transportation Board, and we do have a quorum present. The first item on the agenda is consideration of the minutes of the January 4th, 2022 meeting. If there are no additions or corrections, may I have a motion, please? Move to approve. Motion by Karen. Second. Second by Alvin. All in favor say aye. <coughs> aye. 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 All opposed, same sign. Motion passes. First item on the Transportation Board agenda is the consideration of an ordinance Amending the Louisville City Code, Section 15-126, Parking on Specific Streets, prohibiting parking on both sides of Lake Falls Terrace between Josie Lane and the Memorial Entry Elementary School driveway and along the west side of Lake Falls Terrace between the Memorial Elementary School driveway and Lakewood Bluffs Trail and make a re recommendation to the City Council regarding the amendment. Good evening, commissioners. Um, staff has re went out and observed this location multiple times after receiving complaints from the school district, neighbors, bus drivers, and parents seem to be taking the shortcut, parking right there in the little short entry street that the na neighborhood uses plus the elementary school uses. Mm -hmm. So they block it up, the buses can't get out, they get behind on the route. So we've put, we've put out some temporary signs, see how that would work, and it seems to work before we put out the, you know, the permanent signs and markings and everything. We've talked to the neighbors, all the neighbors agree with the no parking. Um, so we're just asking the Transportation Board to approve it and present it to council. 
Okay, thank you. Do we have any questions, concerns, commissioners? This is uh, familiar territory. <laughs> Um, if there are no questions or comments, then I, they... I, I have a question. Oh, yes, sir. Uh, is is there a, a plan that the parents are supposed to use? Is there like what is the system that they're supposed to use to waive? I can't. I'm sorry, I didn't hear. Is, you. Is it, what what is the actual system that the parents are supposed to use when they're waiting for the, the school? At Memorial Elementary, behind the school, when you come in, if you go past that little side street, Memorial Elementary actually has four lanes of queuing behind it to come into the drop-off zone to drop the kids off. So They're it's, like just, a, it's like a get around from having to go through the main area, basically. Once you get around, you actually come out to a, a red light, so you have a controlled intersection to get back out onto Josie Lane. Okay. Thank They're you. just taking a shortcut and not wanting to go through the queuing okay. to get to the front doors. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay, then may I have a motion on this item, please? Move to approve. Motion by Karen. Second. Second by the Aram. Second by Aram. All in favor say aye. 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 All opposed, same <coughs> sign. Motion passes. The next item is the consideration of an ordinance amending the Louisville City Code section 15-35 maximum speed limits on specific streets, establishing speed limits on Mill Street from Purnell Street to College Street of 30 miles per hour, and make a recommendation to the City Council regarding the amendment. Commissioners, we've conducted a speed <coughs> study up and down Mill Street at three different locations to review the speed since the Main and Mill project was completed last summer. and. After doing the speed study, we've done the 85 percentile of the speed and it comes to 30 miles an hour. And that's why we're presenting to you to lower the speed limit with the back end parking, the bike lane, and narrowing the road down to one lane each direction with the turn lane in the middle. Okay. Commissioners, is there any comments? Concerns, questions? So I have a question. Yeah. So right now it's 35 and you're wanting to lower it to 30? Yes, ma'am. Between Purnell and Maine, it's 35. Then from Maine to college is actually 40. So we're mm -hmm. wanting to lower from college all the way to Purnell to 30 miles an hour to be one speed limit between that area. So why wouldn't we want to have it the same 35 across the board? Because 30 just seems like an odd number. To me, it does. I mean, we either have 25, I believe, on some of the streets where there's the a res residential area. Most residential streets in Louisville are 25 miles an hour. But since this is a more of a major collector, we don't want to take it down to 25 at the moment because it's, it doesn't meet the 85 percentile speed limit of that area. And that's why we went with the 30 miles an hour in that area. So the reason is that we don't want to, so well, we're going from 40 to 30 and not 35, as it would be the same as Purnell to Maine? Purnell to Maine would, right now, is 35. Right. So and why wouldn't we go to 35 as opposed to 30? Is it's 35 right now. And we're lowering, we're wanting to lower it to 30. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought I understood that it was 40 and we're going to 30. The only part that was 40 was from Main Street to Purnell. No, I'm sorry. You got me confused with that. It's Main to Purnell, Purnell to Main is mm -hmm. 35 and we're taking it to 30. I see. Then from college to Main was what was 40. Okay. That little stretch was the only thing that was 40 miles an hour, and we were wanting to make it the same all the way down Across to the 30. Board. There's a map on here that shows exactly. Let me see here. On this map, it's highlighted where it's 40 and where it's 35. 
I don't know if y'all can see that on your screen or not. I can see it. How close the is this to the into oh, that area? That makes sense to me. Mm -hmm. How close is this to the? Uh, there's a school over there, isn't it? Is there yes, for, there's on the other side of Fernell Street. On the other side. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Okay. I got a question for you. Uh huh. Why you didn't go to Yale, Yale Street instead of stopping at Pinnell? Why y'all didn't go to Yale instead of stopping at Pinnell? I'm trying, I'm trying to remember where Yale. Yale is on down on the south side. <coughs> Something else. Uh, I'm David Solon, by the way, the city engineer. Um, the reason we stopped the study at this location is because that's where the main and mill project ended. Uh, and it's typical that when we do a street project like Main and Mill or other streets that we do a speed study after the completion. So it's just a simple matter of that's where the street project ended. All right, thank you. And then I had another question. So with the proposed change, the signage will be appropriate, right? Because it's, I guess it appears that we're going for <laughs> different speeds. And I guess I'm just concerned about Traffic yes, so. tickets for citizens. Well, every, when anything's approved through council, you, there's a 10-day grace there on gotcha. the ordinance okay. when it goes into effect. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Any discussions, concerns, questions? On that? Have, have there been any uh, traffic accidents or any any issues so far? On, we didn't pull the traffic accidents for that area. So it's just based on the construction going to one lane in each direction and the back end spaces is the what prompted the study? That's, yes. Okay. That goes into the study, yes. Okay, thanks. Okay. If there is nothing else, may I have a motion, please? Move to approve and to forward this decision to council. Motion is by Karen. Second. Second by Aram. All in favor say aye. 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 All opposed, same sign. Motion passes. And the final item for the transportation board is the adjournment. May I have a motion to adjourn? Madam Chair, I move to adjourn. Motion is by Sheila. Second. Second by Jordan. All in favor say aye. 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 All opposed, same sign. We are adjourned. Thank you, everybody.